record on this computer. There we go. So most faces aren't looking straight at you. Most are in three-quarter pose. However, I'm still going to start my drawing kind of going through the center of the face. So this is really interesting. If you look at this, if I draw a straight line, see I'm going through the center of his eyes, through the center of his nose, and through the center of his mouth, down to his chin. This is halfway, this is dividing his face in half. So notice immediately that this half of his face is significantly smaller, right? It's about half the size of this part of his face. That is because we're dealing with perspective. And uh, it's good to think of these halves as like doing different things. If you look at the nose, the nose is like smaller, right? Than this part of the nose. The, the mouth, you can really see it. Look at the difference between this half of the mouth and then this half of the mouth. Maybe I could like bring it in just a little bit here, right? This half of the mouth and this, like the mouth, it's the, sh the shape and the angle is totally different on this side than it is here. It says similar with the eye. The eye here is slightly smaller than this eye. Slightly, just slightly. Um, essentially everything on this side is kind of angled up more sharply. Uh, so anyway, just keep that in mind as we're doing that. And once again, we are going to find the halfway point uh, of this face. And if I go from the top of the head here, not from the skin, but from the top of the head here to, and notice the way I'm doing this. You can use a ruler if you want. I'm actually just using my finger, marking a distance like from here to here, and then coming down to see is that halfway. Yes, indeed, that is halfway. So just like the three quarter pose, just like the pose that we saw before, the halfway point of our face is the midway between the eye line. So that's half. I'm gonna mark it, one half. Uh, I'm gonna find the quarter point as well. So I'm gonna do that using the same thing. You can use a ruler if you want, if you're uncomfortable kind of evaluating and measuring. Come up a little bit. There we go. Yep, that's about right. So that's one quarter, right, which is one half. And I can do this now. I have the quarter point. I can come down here and mark my three quarter point. So it's just like we did last week. Three quarter, right? So I can see where these features are kind of lying. And then if I want to get really particular, I can divide this last quarter in half as well. And if I do that, I find that the bottom of the mouth rests at the halfway point on this last quarter. I don't know what you would call this. Uh, I don't want to name it, <laughs> but I've got, you know, we'll put it here. So I can start to identify where these pieces are. And I'm going to actually do that. I'm using charcoal, by the way, you guys, but you are welcome to use a pencil or anything you want uh, as we go through this. So I'm going to start by actually recreating that center line. I don't care what size this is. I can randomly assign, assign a vertical distance, and that is because I'm going to use these same proportions. So notice, this is bigger than this but my proportions will be, still be the same as long as I stick with my halfway point. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mark, yep, that's right. Ah, get up a little bit. I'm gonna do this here. <clears throat> I'm gonna mark my halfway point. I'm gonna mark my quarter point. My three quarter point, right? I've got all those there. And then I'm gonna split this last quarter in half. So Lisa, don't get confused on this one. This isn't five quarters. It is just the last quarter is split in half. That makes sense? Um, all right. Yes. So the, yeah, <laughs> it's good to right? We <laughs> learn, ask, we live and we learn. Um, so if I were to draw a line all the way from, uh, at the halfway point, right at the halfway point, kind of through the eyes from one side of the face to the other. And when I say that, I don't mean this part. I mean like to the edge of the ear, right? 
Um, that is the second line. And to determine the height of the width of this line, I need to take a proportional measurement. So what do I mean by that? I mean that I'm actually going to measure this. I'm using a pen here. So this edge is my edge and my finger here is marking the, the width. And I'm going to line it up on my, at, the, at my chin. And where does that, how wide is that? How wide is the face? Can you see? How wide is the face? It's about a quarter to three quarters. It's three quarters, yeah. It actually lines up with the quarter mark here, which means it's a three quarter wide. So I know if I come here, oh, that's not big enough. I know if I come here and I do this, I mark off my three quarter point and I come to my midline, I'll be able to know how wide my face is. I'll be able to draw a line. Like that. So I know that my face, so these lines are really key to get. They're so key that we're not even gonna do anything else until we get them, we get them established. Um, so how do I know how to place my line here? I'm kind of guessing the other thing, if you remember from looking at a three quarter, uh, a face in profile, well, let's see, let's do this here like this. This is the full eye. So it's one, two, three, plus three eyes, four, five. So you remember how the face across was five eyes? So is this face, but the eyes are in different locations. You guys catch that? So once I get this width correct, I can check it. I can see that I have a little bit more than one eye width on this side. And I've got four eye widths on that side. So now I've got this, I can check my width. I can sketch this in. I'm checking now. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, I need to make this a little bit, I need to make my eyes a little bit wider, which means I need to bring this out a little bit farther and bring it in a little bit. Let's try this. One, two, one, two. Three, three, four, five. Yep. So I see that I have, did you see how I had to adjust the line? I had to scoot it a little bit this way. I'm still keeping it at three quarter width, but I had to scoot it a little bit this way because basically one eye is here, there's a space here, and then between these two eyes, and then the, the second eye is here, and then there's a third eye, and there's fourth eye here, and then a fifth eye is here. Start to draw them out like this. So here's why this is really important, the width and the height in proportion to each other. Nobody by eyeballing seems to be able to get the width of the head. The head goes way farther back than we think on these three quarter poses. Everybody, Draw, tends to draw, when you're just sort of eyeballing it, you tend to draw it in, crunched in, not make it big enough, not make it go back far enough. So these two lines are really key. So um, does anybody have questions? I'd actually like to, I'm gonna actually put up the, I'm gonna take down my demo or keep my demo up actually, and I thought I might share the screen so you could try it yourself. You guys wanna do that? Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Let's try. Okay, here we are. And while you're doing that, let's go. I will send a picture of this with the measurements that I've drawn in across of what's at thread. Hopefully, I have Travis with me too. Yes, got you, Travis. Awesome. Travis Tartman, is that it? That's me. That's it. Gotcha. My memory isn't so great these days. Here we go. 
All right, I have you. I'm going to add you to our WhatsApp thread, so you should be able to see this next thing. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Pretty good. It's so freaking hot here in LA. Oh, yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine. Feel over a hundred where I am. I'm sending you guys this picture. Hopefully you can see the measurements. So I'm sending you the picture close up <coughs> of those measurements. And don't worry, I have a whole bunch of uh, copies of this, because as I sketch over things to show measurements, I kind of lose other things. I did think people did pretty well with the, the homework last week, by the way. Yep. And Travis, don't worry, like this group just assigned themselves homework. I generally don't assign homework in class, but these guys actually assigned homework and did it. I was, they're, they're actually re really exceptional. <laughs> I will try my best to keep up, but I'm <laughs> That's okay. It's so normal. This is such a different way of thinking about the thing. So uh, just remember guys, and take a picture and send it across if you want me to look at it before we start adding the sort of shape of the head. So I used to have people start with like by drawing the head shape and then the jawbone and then doing the measurements. And I found that did not work very well. So I decided to try this method where we got this height and this width first, just to help us kind of orient to the size that our circles should be, you know, the size that our outer shapes should be. And I think it, I think it works better. Even though it feels weird right now. Diana, how is um, Mr. Muscles looking? Oh, I, I left Mr. Muscles for this. Oh, got it, good, okay. Uh, right now, so I'm sure that looks good. Okay, so Paul, the width. I'm doing a painting, so we'll see how that goes. Right. You know me. Yes, I'm yes. Talking. So Paul, this line looks good, but I'm confused as to whether you are, uh, I, it's the full vertical line, right? No. Okay, because the full vertical line is actually correct. Wait, one. Oh, I yep. see. One, two. I see. You ended it. So you need to erase that little bit at the top. Okay. Um, it, or it'll confuse you. Uh, that looks pretty good, my friend. If you erase that little bit at the top, so it doesn't confuse you. And remember, Paul, when we're talking chin, we're talking bottom of the chin, not top right. of the chin. Yeah. I'm not need to call anybody out here. I'm just <laughs> trying to avert. Travis, what do you do for what? Who? What do you cover for writers? I I work in graphics. I do interactive data viz. So. Oh, awesome! Um, You're a natural here, huh? I mean, no. I you know my background is in photography, so. Uh, I took pictures because I can't draw. Oh, well, I couldn't draw. <laughs> you couldn't now, draw. I can. Now you can, exactly. If you could do this, you could do anything. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this, but you know that there's other sessions during the week, right? We've got one that'll be at like noon your time tomorrow. So if you want to pop on for lunch, we'll do, it'll be a different uh, lesson, but similar subject. Lunch, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's so if you want to jump on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know, right? Lunch hour. <laughs> but who's going to know? <laughs> I'll know, Leah. <laughs> as 
long as you're a night owl, you'll do fine here. <laughs> so am I supposed to be drawing this face, just go for it kind of thing? I have no, a, no, no, no. I'm going to demo it. Uh, I'm just waiting for everybody to be done with the measurements. Why don't you send me a okay. picture of what you've done? I can take a look. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, Lisa, I can't see the top of your... Oh, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. Let me try that again. Go ahead and send those over to me and, and then I will show you the next step, guys. And I'm sorry to be so tedious. I'm trying to get through this fast. Nice. Let's see. Um, good job, Travis. Looks great. All right. You haven't met the, you, you're doing good so far. Okay, I like it. Uh, Lisa, let's see. This is one, that's halfway, good. Mostly just checking. Okay, looks, looking pretty good, you guys. All right, we're gonna go on. Uh, let me pull the share down for a second. Oh. And, oish, that's a terrible way to like stop. Oh God, please stop. Um, don't look at that. Don't look at the demo while I'm, st I'm trying to find it again. Uh, all right, here we are. So let's go up again. Right. So now that we've got these uh, proportions, it's going to be a little bit easier to sketch in the kind of, sh the, the sort of outer shape of the face. So let me see if I can do that for you in simple sort of blocky shapes. Be aware, I noticed this when I did this the first time. Okay, okay, so there is the ear. Be aware that like this side is way skinnier than this side. You're, well, you may be tempted or it may happen. I know I kind of poofed it out. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to check is, we can also check where his hairline starts, right? If I go halfway up here. So his hairline is a little bit higher than halfway. It starts here. All right. Yeah, so I can kind of sketch. The outer shape of his face, very simply. Notice that it comes in more than you think it does. Watch, this time I'll do it, it'll be too narrow. <laughs> And remember that this last eye here is actually his ear. So you're kind of, and notice that the this line kind of goes through a little bit through the top middle area of his ear. So you're not drawing the edge of his face. See how early I'm, I'm sketching in the ear in this process. He has these kind of cute little pointy ears too. Way adorable. Maybe that's a little too high. Yes. Here's so so always we're also still kind of constantly doing outlines. And you know what? This has to come out wider. Yes. Sure, chin is kind of square down here. It's like a straight line and then down. MLK has a lovely kind of softness to his chin. Yes. Here. Yeah. 
that makes him uh, seem sort of, you know, I, I think it has a lot to do with his appeal. And then we're going to briefly put, we're going to sort of outline his features before I detail features. So I'm just going to put in the eye very simply here and here, right? Uh, the nose is up. Remember, we're going to focus only on the bottom edge of the nose. No drawing any upper line, no drawing any of the nasal lines up here. You're not going to get them right. And remember, that his nose, it's a little hard to see here, so I'm going to take this off. His nose on this side, this sort of side of his nose lines up with the inside edge of his eye. And this side of his nose, because where he's turned, lines up kind of with the iris. So you can actually add the iris in. Remember the iris is just two curved lines like this. And I can do this line, that outside line of his nose here, lined up with his eye here, and it's about here. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing, don't do any of this. If I see anybody do this, I'm gonna make you erase it. It's awful. It's a terrible thing to do. A lot of the face is very subtle lines. Um, there's very little hard lines in the face. And then let's get this back. So all of this is just outlines. It's just kind of locating where things are. It's easy to want to kind of jump in. Um, I can see that this uh, three-quarter line is where his, the top of his mustache and his lip is about here. His upper lip is about here. And I'm actually going to start with his middle line. He's thinner. Purple for that. I guess, uh, notice that this side of his, that th we're doing the middle line, the dark middle line that's between the two lips. Notice that it kind of bends and dips down. Notice how much longer this one is. This lines up. The edge of the mouth lines up with the middle of the iris on this side. On this side, it lines up with the nose, the edge of the nose. So the mouth doesn't extend any further than this. And it comes down to just here. Notice how much steeper the angle is coming up on this side. It's, it's almost more flat here. That is part of that perspective issue. I'm going to sketch in the upper lip, which is like a V kind of there. There's another V, but a longer one here. Remember that, remember that the lip does not come all the way to the edge of the that, that line between the two lips, uh, the middle of the mouth line. This extends a little bit further. If you draw your lips too far like that, it doesn't look right. Your mouth will look too big. So extend that in a little bit. And then the bottom lip has a kind of square, a, a flat edge here, and then it kind of curves. Oh, that's probably too extreme. It flattens here and comes up like that, yeah. like that. You'll fiddle around a lot with these designs, but this is your basic, this is the basic sketch. 
And then I'm just doing the outer shape of the mustache, just kind of like this. Notice there is a big white shape between the mustache and, um, and the upper lip. Just starting even higher. So I'm really, I'm just trying to get these kind of outlines in place, best as you can. We're not talking about shading yet, because that'll be something different. It'll be something else. What is this now? One. One. Two. Ah. I need my chin. So I accidentally kind of drifted my face a little bit too long. It wasn't much, just a millimeter or two. One, two, three, uh so i put his nose a little bit too low his nose should actually be one two three nose should be ah so my my i let my measurements drift a little bit somehow one two three four So if this happens to you, <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, top and bottom. So the nose should actually be up above this quarter line. Sorry, you guys. It comes above this uh, three quarter line. This is one half. This is three quarters. Nose comes above it. Somehow, I let my three quarter line drift. Make sure this is still correct. Yes, that's still correct. So see how far I down I came without even like knowing too much. There we go. That's better. Okay. So nose comes above the three quarter line. Mouth comes here, bottom of the mouth comes here. There we go. So notice how these, oh yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> I knew it didn't look right. Um, so notice how easy it is to go off from these measurements, but notice how easy it is to correct yourself, right? If you go back to the central, oh yeah, that's really better. It's going to look much more like my And then I've got here mustache here. down like that. Yes. I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but it's still in pretty good shape. I'm double checking, I'm triple checking this. Yep. Look at how easy it is to drift down. I could have let this sit here for a while just so that you can see how easy it is for me if I don't get my measurements right or I'm not sticking to my quarter, three quarters how easy it is to kind of go off course.
So guys, do you want to look at the picture? I'll keep this up, but also you want to look at the picture of Martin Luther King and try it yourself? Sure. Let's try it. I will take a picture of this. So I'm sending over the sketches so far to WhatsApp uh, close up so that you can see them. Here's the sketch. Oh, hi, Mana. Let me add you. Let me add you to the block. You know who the East Coast Night Owls are. I always send that so you can see it too, Lana. So that's it. This is it. We send that again. Now, we may not have everything exactly in the right places here yet, but I know that my basic proportions are correct. So go ahead and work on that for a little bit, and uh, but ask me questions as you're going along, guys, if you have questions about the proportions, about the measurements. Does this seem a little bit familiar after working with the similar proportions last week? Yeah. Is it helpful? Are you starting to like use that? As a, so you won't, the, obvious, the eyes won't always be right at the halfway point of the face, but a lot of the time they will. How do I see the homework? Uh, I will send it over. I want to see the homework. It's pretty red. Actually, it's pretty red. They took pictures of themselves, and then every student drew somebody else <laughs> in the class. Oh, that's intense. It's really awesome. It was really awesome. So let me see if I can get them. Yeah, it really, it really amped up the pressure. I. So here's Lisa. Uh, Lisa Barrettland did Lisa, I think. There's that. Uh, let's see. Here is. That's amazing. I know. She did great. Here's Rollo to Diana. Great. I'm going to be. I know. It's freaking awesome. Uh, Lisa did a new job. I'm sad, I'm sad a new jersey with us today. Never uh, asked to do the homework. Right? <laughs> it's okay. Diana did a lovely job with uh, Rollo. Where is Lisa? Where is your homework? Um, I can send it. I can send it to the group if you want. Oh wait, I got it. I got it. There it is. You did good. You really got her. Yeah, she did. Yeah, you got you got likeness. You came far, Lisa, in that lesson. So anyway, that's kind of where we got. Hey, Leah. Yes. Um, I'm trying to me like measure the full length of the head, um, vertically, but how do I figure out the horizontal? Like, I know I had to measure the eyes, but does that relate to the, um, vertical? So do you want me to repeat that instruction? I will yeah. totally repeat that. Like okay, so the eye, yeah. Hang on. Let me repeat that instruction. Cause that's a tricky one. Let me go to, um, Leah demo, if you can find it, the little square. Can you find it? Um, 
Whoop. Oh, shoot. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what we want. Go away. Okay, here. Sorry, hang on. You won't see it for a second. Let me get it going. Can you see it now? I should be a little square on the side like everybody else. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Okay, so watch this area. Before I do, so the first line I draw is this random, right? Vertical yeah. line. And then I find the halfway point, the quarter yeah. point, the three quarter point. Okay, I know that I need to draw this horizontal. Then I draw this horizontal. This is all in the source right now. And I go from the edge of the eye to the edge of the ear. Um, so before I measure eyes or do anything, I check this measurement against this. See this? So the width here has to come up to the quarter point on his forehead. Okay, okay, so the width is the three quarter point. It's the three quarter point. So it the width is going to be three quarters of the height in this particular case. Got it. And you'll you can line it up at the halfway point and then Finding out exactly, and then this, and then once you get that width, you can divide it into five equal sections. Right? Okay. And that's the eyes. That's the eyes. But you can't do that until you get the actual, you know, and it's and it's totally, uh, it's totally, you know, um, uh, it's it's based on the width is totally based on it's relative. It's based on whatever the height is. Right. Yeah. Okay. So three quarters. In that case, in this particular case, yes, three quarters. You're going to have to measure every time because every time it's different. Depends on the person. It depends on the position of their head. But in this particular case, yes, it's at the three quarter point. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know how. I did take an oxycodone before class. <laughs> I wonder if that was it. Why my measurements are so wacky. That's good. Um, Supposed to share, Leah. Do I know, right? How do you how do you share <laughs> that kind of thing? <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, on the East Coast block which will be uh, second and fourth Thursdays, uh, we're gonna start watercolor painting. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that you wanna do. Leah, I actually think I met you walking across a bridge in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, that's it. I, Cause I knew your name seemed familiar and I knew your face looked familiar. Oh my God, a long time ago yeah, in a far. galaxy far away. I mean, it seems like it now. It, yeah, right? <laughs> it was far. It was a long time ago. Well, I'm glad you're finally here. That's really great. At the IRE conference, right? Uh, yeah, I think it was NICAR. But, or yeah. NICAR, that's right. NICAR. Do you do any work with Janet's team? Um, occasionally, it's very occasional. Um, it's just sort of, uh, you know, by necessity, we generally are quite busy on our own. So, right, right. Uh, and they, yeah, they're busy too. But occasionally, and you, they, uh, streams cross. But, and are you finding you have to go into the office at all? Or can you pretty much do everything from home? <laughs> Ain't no way I'm going to the office, man. Yeah. That's where can go to hell. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna ride the subway. Like that's just all. Those are all bad ideas. Yeah, just wait. You're moving to Iowa. <laughs> like you can buy a big old house, and who cares? Like where you live now, right? Like you, you know, don't have to go into it. Good idea. <laughs> Leah, I have a question. Yes. On um, on his eyes, okay. I know he's five eyes across, right? Yes. But the first, uh, the eye on the left. Yes. There's his actual eye, and then a little tiny bit of his face. Yep. 
to visit? Yeah. Does, that, does that count as part that of it? That counts as what, in this particular case, it does. That, like, that distance, great, great question. That distance is about the distance of the full eye that we can see okay. on the right. Thank yeah. you. That and the reason that. that this is smaller is that it's turned, right? So okay. we see a little bit, less, just like the lips are smaller, the nose is smaller, the mustache okay. is smaller. Yeah, exactly. Good observation. It also appears that the eyes are slightly uh, slanted. Uh, no, it's not they slanted. are slightly slanted. They are. They are. He's tilting his head forward, so there's a slight vertical, absolutely. So, so then slight should vertical. one eye be slightly above the line and one below? Is that how you yes. account for that? Okay. Yes. That is right. how you would account for that. So we like to take this halfway point as the kind of measure I like to find on all faces right? The vertical distance and then the halfway point wherever it is. And yeah, then you can use that to kind of assess. That's very true. He is a little bit, uh, the actual eye line is a little bit like this. It kind of slants off the center. It comes off the center diagonally. Just a touch. You'll notice all of these uh, measurements are really like micro tiny. You make a little tiny change, shift to there we go. You make a little tiny change, and uh, it makes a big. It has a big impact. So when you guys have got through this, we will review again, kind of how to draw an eye. And the important things to notice. In which case, I'll bring this across. Yeah. If anybody wants to send me anything, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Take my phone out this little thing so I can see. Does anybody, anybody have to me? Go ahead and send me what you were what you've got if you want me to take a look at it, or I can look at it later. Uh, the idea of sending it to me now would be I can help you troubleshoot. Just like I troubleshooted my own drawing when I realized it was off. <laughs> oh, you're not going to help you troubleshoot yours. Yeah, Lisa B did a really good job with you, Lisa R. Yeah, that was a surprise. She, she wasn't even around when we assigned the homework. This is what she's working on now. All right. Does anybody want to like look at some details on features? Do you want that now, or do you want to try and get things in the right place now? Because we can, I can stop. I need a little more time to get the mouth drawn in and, and got the, it. Got it. Okay. Diana, it looks like California's on fire from where we're. Yeah, Northern California. It, it is. It's really terrible. Yeah. And I live in an area that's really fire prone, so. Crossing your fingers. Kind of scary.
And you don't have to have me check it, but I am happy to look at it right now. So you guys let me know when you're ready to, to either have me look at something or move on to the next step. I'll send you mine. Okay. Lisa, Lisa, and they're, they're in the right places. All right. Very good. All right. I gotta, I've got to do the ear. Yep, the ear. that is the ear sketched in, but that's good. I know, I, I think people don't like to draw this way because it doesn't look so immediately. Like, honestly, everyone who teaches themselves how to draw faces goes from one eye to the next eye, and then from the eyes to the nose and then from the nose to the mouth, and then they work outward, which is just great until you come uh, upon a position like this when you don't really know how wide the head is. You know, you don't really know where everything fits in relation to everything else. And uh, you know, the thing about drawing is it's all in relation to everything else. I'm just tweaking his hairline right now because I kind of mucked that up since I somehow accidentally extended my own line. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Okay. Anybody else want me to oh let's see, Paul. Okay, Paul, you're going too far too fast. So, so hold up, Rollo two, too far, too fast, too quick. Left hand side of my okay. face. Yeah, it's too, um, wide. your eyes are too wide. So back it down a bit and let me give, let me give, okay. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna stop you guys right here. I'm gonna pull the share down. I want you to watch a little bit the construction of the features. Uh, so, We're going to talk about construction of features again. So let's talk about uh, oops, okay. let's talk about eyes. I'm going to draw a typical eye. So this eye is a pretty standard eye. So remember, our our childhood version of the eye is this, right? The two curved lines, the round iris, the dark center, the spikes coming out. And then the coup de gras is this, right? That's how we drew the eye as a kid. Um, can you see that? Yes. But the eye, the actual eye is kind of shaped more like curved on top and virtually straight across the bottom. Okay? Maybe it's tipped up or maybe it's tipped down. And we most often cannot see the entire iris. If we did, it would look pretty weird, right? So we have only these curved lines here. And then one of the most important things to remember about the eye, oh, this is gonna be here, I'm gonna pull up one of these. That hasn't been marked up yet. Remember that the most distinctive feature of the eye is actually this upper eye line, right? So here, his lid, there's virtually, if you remember last week when you were drawing my eye, the upper lid line here, there was a lot of space. It kind of looks like this. My eye looks like this, with the upper lid line coming up over and down, right? Very Eastern European. 
Mark, uh, Dr. King's is very close to the edge of his eye, comes down like that. And where we see the big shape difference, differential, the big skin shape, is between his eyebrow and that upper lid line. So these are like two shapes that you've got to get in there as well. So we start with this basic shape of the, the curved upper lid, the mostly straight lower lid, the two curved lines for the iris, the upper eyelid. And then I'm actually drawing in the shape of the skin beneath the eyebrow, right? So there's that happening. And then the other thing that's happening with the eye, I'm gonna draw it again up here, it's even bigger. Yeah, I this. Do a really big eye demo. So we've got curved upper lid, straight lower lid. We've got the two uh, lines for the iris. We've got the upper eye lid. We've got the eyebrows somewhere, right? Circling off. Um, when we're getting into the details of the eye, the iris is the edge of the iris and that, sorry, the edge of the iris and the pupil are always really dark. It does not matter whether your eyes are blue, green, brown, whatever. You will see that you'll be able to see the edge of the iris. This is always going to be darker. And because this part of the iris, the upper part, is shaded by lashes, no matter what color it is, it is also darker. It's not as dark as your pupil, but it's darker. And then all of us have these little reflected lights in our eye. You can see them really clearly, right? That little white blip, which is a lamp or something that's in the room that's reflecting light. So as you come down to the lower part of the eye, it's lighter. The iris is lighter. <laughs> in color. So it's like dark, it's like darkest, right? If you were gonna uh, do your values from a one to a five, these two things are five. This might be a three or a four. This might be a four. And this bottom part is a three. Out here. And then this little blick is a one that's really light. So the other thing we have going on uh, is that little, the tear duct, right, right here, which is kind of darker here, maybe a four, and then lighter inside. And then the other thing that's happening is that really this bottom lid is very light because it sticks out. If you notice, if you look at it on people, it's kind of pink. So I tend to de-emphasize it and put this line down here as kind of a lower lash line. Um, if you really look close, you will see that the whites also are a little bit shaded on the top and a little bit lighter in the middle. Uh, and the last thing, which is to add the lashes, really is, it's not like a this thing, right? It's more like just a slight thickening. Actually, sorry, that's the tear duct. So it's here on this edge, it's a slight thickening here, almost like just sort of a slightly darker triangle. So that is how eyes are basically constructed. Does that, does anybody want me to repeat anything there? Or does that make sense to you? Makes sense. The only problem is that it's half the size of the head. Well, I just did that so you can see it, honey. Yeah. You're gonna have to do it smaller. Yes, you're gonna have, yes, you're gonna have to do it smaller, but it's still possible to do this. Believe it or not, all that nuance is available to you here, or most of it is available to you. Okay, so, uh, when we talk about noses, the thing to remember is that, and you can see this very nicely on um, this picture, 
is that pretty much everything from here, I, I don't know if you guys can see this, the shading is really beautifully expressed here. So everything, everything from here down has some type of shading. This is lighter, this is darker, this is kind of a medium. Everything from about this part of the nose down is, is shaded in some way. And then you can see the light side of the face, the shading kind of comes up to the nose up here on this side of the nose. So things are light until about here. And then we can even sketch that in, kind of gently shade it and then go back and kind of nuance the shades more dramatically. And notice also that although people have very dark nostrils and sometimes you can see them, we de-emphasize them when we're drawing them. It looks really weird if I add in a big nostril here. So the nostrils are really delineated by just a single black line. There's also shading underneath the nose, kind of coming off this way, right? And then, uh, so does anybody have questions about that? You will be able to see the shading. I'll, and I'll take a picture of this so you can really see that how strong the shading is. But basically everything from here down is shaded in some way. Um, and, uh, and the rest of the nose shading gets kind of taken care of when we look at the remaining uh, shading of the face after we finish the, the features. Um, remember that the top lip is always darker than the bottom lip, right? The top lip is turning in away from the light. So as you can see here, it's darker. This bottom lip is lighter significantly. And then that black line kind of in between is the darkest of all. So this is always lighter. There's nuances of shading happening in here too, but the, the bottom lip is always lighter than the top lip. Unless of course the lights come in this direction from up from up from here, and then this will be darker and that'll be lighter. But basically light areas on the face and on the features are only happening when they're sticking out. So this part of the nose is happening, that's light. Uh, it's, it's, oh, and there's always this little light line, no matter what color a person's skin is, above the, the upper lip. So it's like light, dark, really dark, medium to light down here. So any questions on that? You guys want to get, so will that help you kind of start to construct? I can take pictures here. I'm going to put up the share again. So Rollo, go back. Notice you have made his eyes exactly the same size. They're a little bit too big. In fact, this eye has a slightly different shape and the dark, and pay attention to the, the one, upper one. lid line. This one, oh, sorry, uh, the one on the left has a slightly different shape than the one on our right. Okay. The eyebrows are like hugely at play here. The shape between, the skin between the eye and the eyebrow also very much at play. I'm going to keep working on this um, while you guys are doing this so you can watch me if you want to to do to before you do more um, you can just start doing it yourself yeah notice particularly on this side on the left side, how light the bottom lid is uh, on Dr. King's face. You can barely, it almost disappears. Look at the, at the sort of, at the relation between the iris and the two little white triangles as well. Try to get all those shapes going correctly. Yeah, 
You'll be going back and forth between your with your eraser, your dark, your light. It's a little hard to see how light his eye, his irises are on the base here, but know that that is true. Uh, it has to do with my photocopier. It's not so great. What I like about faces is it really does, what I'm trying to tell you guys to do all the time, which is, you know, pay attention to what the shape of the thing next to what you're trying to draw, right? You're, you're paying attention to the negative space as well as the space between the objects. Um, is that in faces, it really makes a difference. If you can get all those shapes right, you're gonna nail the face. You're gonna, you're gonna nail likeness. You're gonna get that. And Lisa, that's why I thought you did such a good job uh, with the Nuja there. I just felt her likeness really strongly, right? You can be arguing about, oh, I don't know exactly how to do eyes or anything, but I thought you really nailed the likeness of her. I just saw her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I you got shapes right. You got the major shapes right. Yeah, it took a while to get her a smile. You know, she had like this slight smile. Yeah. So interesting to me how up, how much uh, differences in faces are like, you know, the upper lid line, like what's going on there. Or like just a little minuscule uh, bit of space, the shape of the skin. You know, the, below the eyebrow is so key. And of course, you'll notice in some places on his face, particularly the dark side, it's a little hard to tell where certain things start and end, right? There's a couple of lost edges here. And uh, you can kind of note where they are and then lose it. You know, you can sort of um, finite out. You can sort of, you can lose those edges if you want to. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, what Diana and I were talking about before class was how easy it is to kind of lose, even when you've measured, to kind of lose your measurements. So the measurements are this constantly, we're constantly checking and rechecking them. You'll notice on the, I'm working on his mustache right now, on the left side of his face, the mustache kind of disappears into the dimple line, right? That lines the edge of his face. Those are just kind of dark shadowy areas. And his bottom lip really has some interesting layers of medium and light happening. There's kind of like a light rim and then a medium, and it's interesting. There's a lot going on here. There's a nice little reflected light. And 
And just so that you know this, I've done this once, you guys, but I gotta say, I try to not do these exercises before I come to you because I want to be able to, want you to see that art's not really about getting it right the first time. It's about um, getting it right, looking at, trying something, looking at it, and then correcting it. That requires a certain sort of artistic holding your nerve. You can also, if you want to, darken his hair, because his hair is quite dark. Um, I would not darken his whole face because parts of his face are very, very, we'll talk about shading in a bit. I want you to sort of work the features a little bit to get a little bit more detail in them and then we will talk about that. You can totally darken his hair. Okay, who is watching CNN? We cannot. I am um, sorry. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'm sorry. It's not, you know how it is. You guys have to hear this all the time. You know, we have I to forget that I even have it on. Oh, Lisa B, you're here. Yeah, sorry I'm late. That's okay. I have you on the thread because I knew you were coming. <laughs> so I'm a little bit confused. I'm sorry to ask this, but how did you set up the grid for the, the side view of his face? Is it like two thirds or something? Or Nope, it is not. What's Let the proportion? Me, uh, why don't you, can you go to Leah demo and I will get back and show you that? Yeah. Is that, that how to start that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you how to, yeah. That, so if you okay. look at Leah demo, it's one of the little ones. I will show you the initial proportions. Hold on. So we started. Hang on, it's one of the windows in here? Yeah, it's one of the windows. Oh, Leah demo, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so here, I'm gonna just sketch it in again. So we okay. started, our very first line was to create a vertical line. So what we did is we drew a halfway point between the halfway, the half of his face. But because his face is turned, it's not going to be equal on both sides, right? Okay. Not, even so we started happening. with the line like last time? Yeah. So watch this. We started with a line that goes right through the middle of his eyes, right? Oh. The middle uh -huh. of his nose and the yep. middle of his lips right down here. And okay. it goes to the top of his head here. And notice that his nose on this side is uh, smaller than the nose on this side. Notice right. how small the lips are yeah. as they are on this side, right? And the eyes are slightly tilted, but we're right. not there yet. So so then Lisa, we're doing a, we did the halfway point as usual, and you'll see that the halfway point on his face is the middle of the eye line. Okay. Yeah. So that's not really changed. That not in this particular, not in this particular pose. No, it's still the same. Oh, so it's uh, different. But remember, it's different in every, particularly with three quarter poses. And then we found, of course, we did the quarter point, right? I found the quarter point. Like last time, yeah. Yep, like last time. So just like last time, one, two, three, four. So here's the quarter point. Here is the three quarter point. So you'll see the nose is slightly above the three quarter point. Okay. And and then to find, but and so then I once again drew a line, a middle, a line through the middle of, you know, the middle line. Okay. Here. Right? And from the edge of his face to the edge of his ear. Okay. And then I and then I checked that against the height. And if you check okay. this against the height, you'll see it's exactly three quarters. Okay. So his width is three quarters across the middle. And then basically he's just a little bit more than one eye. Why? On this side. Uh -huh. On this side. And he's like 
a little bit more, a less than four eyes on this side. Right? Okay. So then you, so then we kind of guessed by positioning where it might go and then measured the five eyes across. And then uh, the eye, it should look like, I'll mark it in red so you can really see it. This is like eye one. It goes past his eye to the edge of his face and it comes right before this center line here. And then uh -huh. eye two goes here. Right? Eye three, this is actual, that, that eye. Eye four and eye five. So those are the first lines we draw. We draw that line, we draw the vertical line, we figured out how far it is, and then we position it. Once we get the width of it, we we find we divide it into five equal sections, and then we scoot it a little bit past, right? It's like this is the fifth eye, and then there's a little bit more on that side. But it takes a little fiddling, but it so get this one and this one first, then divide it to five, and then scoot it, and then we sketch the outer shape and started uh, working on, on the face. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's similar to what we did last week, but the proportions are different, right? Because it's right. turned around. And very specifically, it's just, what I'm just fascinated by is look at how small and how angled up the nose is, this, this half of the nose, this part of the mouth, the mustache area, right? Uh -huh. It's like half, each of them are like half the size of the, the full yeah. half that we can see. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the perspective thing. So I think that's where people get messed up. If you don't have those, if you don't have these right, uh, if you don't have this sketched in correctly, it's uh -huh. easy to like smush up the face or try and guess like where things are instead of yeah. really knowing, hey, I know that the eye, the nose, and the mouth on this shape are an entirely different size and shape than the than that part of the features that are on the right side of the face. All right. By the way, a really excellent uh, sketch of Lisa R. Hey, I changed her too. I like it even. Send it up. Can you send it over the thread? I sent over your old one. I hope you don't. Yeah, let me send a new one. This was a fun one. Lisa's? Yes. Yeah. I thought you got it. It's she's it's really cute. You got her cuteness. She um it's interesting what you think from memory and then looking at a at a picture. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, one of the things that I'm noticing about my face is that I have sketched the, um, I can really see it now that I've added my features in. I'll, I'll wait till we get there and then I'll show you the correction I'm going to make on the face. Um, and once again, this is something that we're continuing to do. Two, three, four, five. Yep, that's right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, help me. Oh, Paul Manassian coming along. Nice. Oh my God, Lisa. Lisa R, you have to look at this at some point. Jillian, getting there. I'm looking. That is amazing, Lisa. I'm going to leave it on your desk. <laughs> Jillian, good. Good. Uh, uh, so I'm going to point out something oh that's going to. So, that's, Jillian, the that issue so that cool. you have, the issue that you have is that you've made his nose equally equal on both sides. And on the left side, it's shorter, it's not as wide. It's half the width of the right side of the nose. You have made his nose equal on both sides of his face. Uh, so you need to shorten and, but I'll show you how you'll be able to correct that. And in fact, I think I'm gonna jump in and do this now. I like that, that this, anyway, this looks really good. Don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna pull the share down for a second. I want you guys to take a look at some things I've seen here that will, that'll be helpful. All right, so one of the things I wanted to tell you that I noticed as I was drawing is that I made this face, uh, this part of the face come out too far. 
How do I know that? I can actually use features to measure like how wide things are. So I can check and see if I have established my eye, say as a, a form of measurement, I can see uh, if I line it up next to my nose, how far out does it go, right? And in this particular case, you can see that it's just about half an eye from the edge of the nose to here. Now, if I go here and I look at, I've got a full eye from the edge of the nose to here. So I need to bring my face in on this side significantly. It is really easy to do that. Let's see if I can get it right now. One, yep, I have to bring it in way. I've got to bring it in. So notice, that's better. Yep. So notice how that affects, now I'm like, oh, my mouth has come a little too far out because I know there's a little bit of light area here. You know, my eye is slightly too big. So I have to adjust things down. So, so Jillian, what you did, if you'll see here, I have his nose is half the size of this, but you drew it like your nose like this halfway down that as if it was equal on both sides it is yeah. not from this position so watch that but hey i'm not like watch i'm calling my own mistake here first right <laughs> so watch how easy it is to get too wide so see i have to pull i'm pulling stuff in all the time i'm like oh i gotta like kind of bring in the size of this eye a little bit it's got to come down a little bit So, and when I do that, I'm able to start to get more of that, of what's going on with this face. So we're constantly, I guess my point is, we're constantly drifting off by millimeters, which does not seem like a lot, but can be a lot. So I want you, as you're, as you're laying these down and sort of recognizing that these are here, notice it's really easy to go too big and not pay attention. It's easy to bring the mouth all the way out here without paying attention to what's happening on the side, right? So it's easy, to, it's just easy to get too big with everything. I had to bring everything back from the edge because I did not have my face. Look at how that is starting to look a little bit more like Dr. Ken right now, making that shift. Look at how much, that was like maybe two or three millimeters that I shaved off the side. You can also do that on the other side. So I can use my eye to be like, okay, from my mouth, from the edge of my mouth, how wide is it here? One, two, it's like two eyes. One, two, all right, so I know I'm doing pretty good here. From my nose, how wide is it to the edge of either the, the jawline here or even to the neck? One, two, so it's two eyes, to the jawline, all right. And then there's this little extra bit of the neck. So you see, I can start to, I can check it up here. I could be like, how many eyes here is it between here and the hairline? One, right from the eyebrow, one, two. One, two, up, oh, I gotta bring my, I gotta bring this up. So uh, as I establish things, and really it's eyes that I've established here, just like when we were drawing the figure and we were using the head as a unit of measure to help us, we can adjust to get likeness. Notice he's got this one of the most wonderful features about, <laughs> I love this about Dr. King, it is so soft is he's got this soft roundness to his chin, which is shown in this kind of little light edge of his face before it turns away to the neck. So as you're shading, and I'm, I can talk a little bit about that here, um, you can start to, you can start to, um, you can start to add in these little light areas here. So let me sketch in the shading just so that you see it. Everything here, right? 
Uh, this is not a good one to sketch by. Let me do it on one that doesn't have so many markings. This is why I need so many. Here, I'll try this one. Has not so many markings on it. Remember that pretty much everything below the eyes is shaded except for a few things. And, and by the way, what direction is this uh, Dr. King lit from? Can you see? What direction? What direction is the light coming from? The upper left. Um, yeah. Well, upper mid left, right? It's coming from this direction because he's so light on this side. And as it turns, you can see his face turning. Things become darker. There is a key light on the right hand side though. Yeah. 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 Where do you see? You mean right here? Oh, the highlights here? on the right side. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, absolutely. Also, one of the things that happens, Travis, as like the, as, as a rounded object turns away here, like a ball, which is what their face is. One of the things that happens, so if the light's coming from this direction, it goes light and then it gets kind of medium, right? And then it gets darker. And then right before it turns around, there's a little reflected edge in the dark area. So you can see that here. It's a little bit true here. Yes, there's probably another light, but it's also true that his head is turning this way. And so and you can see it at the top of his head. Can you see how it just gets very light here? So yeah, here yeah. is dark. Yeah, yeah. Figured, well, and that's, light behind him. Yeah. Yep, yep. So and, uh, probably there, under his jaws from the shirt, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's usually more than one light in the room. So what happens is as like a rounded object turns, just as it turns in the darkest area, you'll see a little light pop on the edge. And that is also true of the face. All right, so let me see if I can sketch out the face. Uh, shading for you from this side. So much of what we've got going down here. Is darker medium. This is kind of a medium. This area is light. You see here is light. Here is light but it's in the dark side of the face. So it, the face is always light here and here and here, but because this is in the dark side, it's the light is not the same value. The light is like a one here and it's maybe a two here. Right, and look at how that light hits the features. Right, we've got that going on. There's usually at least here. This is all very dark, except look at these, these little soft areas down here, which are lighter. So as you're sketching in your planes, remember they're lighter, medium, and darker areas. That's kind of a medium. These are, this is kind of medium and this gets darker. So this is like, let's see if I can even label this for you. So if one is, is light and five is dark, five is dark, then these are obvious ones. One, 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 one here, one that, you know, one there. Everything else moves into like two territory, two, four, four, five, four, two, four, five. So when you start sketching out the face, be paying attention to these shifts, these, um, you start adding the shading in, be paying attention to these. I will take a picture of this and send it across so you guys can see it. So here is like how we're paying attention. So he's not all dark. There are some parts of him that are very light. particularly as a black and white. If you were doing color, it would be a different thing. How Diana's choosing to 
uh, delineate her lights and darks is going to be different because she's using color. Here we go. All right. So I have sent over this little sketch. Uh, yeah, coming together, Diana. Coming together. Nice. I like the shapes of the face. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. If you want to see how to do this in paint. And see, she's still fiddling around with her proportions to get them right. Jawline is good. Diana, look how high up his ear comes. It comes all the way up to, what? oh shoot, here. I'm gonna do yeah, this here screen I, so you can see it. I haven't come to the ear really yet. Yeah. The ears are always, um, Boy, it's always freezes on the most unflattering picture. All right. <laughs> yes. Don't look at the yes. So now you can look at the demo because I think <laughs> it's in a better position. So although I have the share screen on, so you can look at the source, I myself am working on shading and finishing my drawing. So if you want to watch, if you're like, oh, I'm not quite sure, you can either ask a question, you can watch while I uh, on the demo. You can just work on your own. You can do all those things. You can uh, send me something uh, on, on WhatsApp if you're having trouble with it. Notice I need a, you know, it's, a, it's not like I've got everything right on the first go. I never expect that. I expect that I'm gonna start, I'm gonna find something that works and then I'm gonna to have to adjust everything else. to make his lips, particularly on that left side, too big. Uh, there's an interesting, I'm really noticing about Dr. Kang, um, there's a kind of a symmetry. His uh, face is kind of square. He's got kind of a square chin. And then his lips is the bottom lip as well also has a kind of sh squareness that's um, before it curves up. And Travis is right. Remember, Travis pointed out his eyes are not like he's not looking. His head is slightly tilted to the side. A lot of people tilt their head when they get themselves photographed. Uh, and he's no exception. So that means his eyes are not exactly center. It's actually totally fascinating, isn't it? If you're kind of willing to go back and forth and really muck around with the details, um, you can, it's kind of fascinating to see how you get likeness, how you lose it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, kind of, you come upon it, you find it, how do you fix it? It's different than I think somebody who's stumbling along in the dark, just trying to guess where things are. This is a much more rational system in my mind. Be aware, for example, of how uh, much chin there is underneath his mouth. It's real easy 
to uh, put mouths in the wrong place. Often I put them too low often in my portraits and have to muck around until I get it in the right place. It's real easy to do that. So use the, you know, the space below the mouth. Pay attention to the shape and the size of that as well as everything else. There we go. Now we're starting to get some. Oh, yeah. So you see the nose is not really defined by strong lines. It's defined by these soft, furry, fuzzy, Um, shading shapes. The bottom of the nose is fairly distinct and strongly defined, but the top, the sides aren't really there. And when you put them in, they don't look right. We're going to add those kind of dark lines from his nose to the mouth. There's a little bit of strength there, but mostly softness. He's just got such a great face, doesn't he, you guys? Kind of perfect pictures. Sorry, somebody just sent me something in there. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm gonna turn the demo off just for a minute. Focus more on. Yeah. 
Yes. All right. So now, go ahead. I've left the meeting as Leah demo. Um, I'm going to come back in. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> I turn my camera on. Oh my God, like two hours has gone by. Almost. Believe it or not. We'll go for a little I I want to go until everybody's kind of in the golf course. If we have to go a little bit longer, that's okay with me. Uh, let's see. So Paul, his um, mouth is too wide. One. His mouth is too wide. I feel like you need to, although this is better. I, I read it the mouth and the and the the second was was not as good as the first. It yeah, was. yeah. So you just need to. It's because you made you do, you made his mouth here. I'm going to point here. You made his mouth as if it was equal on this side and this side. Remember, this is the halfway point of his face. Oh so yeah. This half right. of the mouth is much smaller and differently shaped than that half. But I feel like a great improvement over last week. So you're really stretching. I like seeing that. Good job. I, I did not want to send uh, Katie's picture. That's okay. <laughs> also not required. Just keep practicing. Yeah, Lisa, once you start adding in the shading, I think you're going to feel coming along. Good job, guys. This is so yeah. hard. So hard. Some people say figure drawing is hard, but I don't think figure drawing hard is, is as remotely hard as this is. Let's see. Oh, Rollo, yeah. So you got the okay. So let me take a look. There's just tweaks here. Um, it's pretty really okay. weird. I noticed that when I when I when I'm looking at from where I'm sitting, mm -hmm. it looks much better than when I do it straight down. Yes, yes. So here's so, what's happening. Here's what's happening. Uh, I'm going to point uh, where you need to look on the screen. So essentially what's happening with the features that are on this side of the face, right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They're actually kind of going up a little bit. Can you see that? So they're yeah. actually slanted up. You actually have the mouth on this side coming down. Same with the nose. The nose kind of goes up at a slant in the way that that's, that's not happening over here kind of slanted up and that has to do so you need to bring 
every this whole side uh, it looks a little right it's really good but it looks a little like he had a stroke on this side like his face is actually hanging down and in reality it should everything should be coming up and angled up a little bit and his nose is wider on this side than it is on this side see that shape it's like bang straight so adjust those and uh, so adjust those, work on those, and you're going I think you're gonna be really happy. Really close. Ooh, Jillian, very nice. Uh, Jillian, I'll tell you the same thing. Better with the nose and the face, much better. I would say look at the shape, the actual shape. Look at the shape of this. If you were to just kind of break it down, it's almost like a little box. See? Right. And you've got it as um, straight. Mm -hmm. So, right, it's just going straight. This side is really angled up and it's a little bit more boxy. So look at the shape and reform his mouth okay. uh, on that right side. But I love how the nose looks. Uh, I feel, I'm starting to feel him come. Also, you've brought his lips too far you brought them to the very edge of the uh, mouth and that is not what happens. The, the mouth line, the middle mouth line kind of extends a little bit beyond. So pull in the lips a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that is a really common uh, mistake. Uh, also his eyes look a little bit wide. Oh yeah, his eyes are too wide. Um, his eyes, you've, you've lost this, his eyes are too big. So if you look here, it is, I1 ends here, I2 ends here, I3 ends here, I4 ends here, and I5 is the ear. So you have made your eyes too wide, too long, so shorten them a little bit. Mm. It's easy to, these are all very easy mistakes to make because we look at people in their eyes, so we tend to draw them way bigger than they really are. <laughs> That's interesting. Yep. Yep, that's the good old left brain getting in there and telling you what the fuck is going on and it doesn't know anything. <laughs> My brain is just totally unhelpful to you in this moment. You need to know these rules and then know how to tweak them, right? You need to know, you need to tell yourself the eyes are just smaller than I think they are. <coughs> and the nose is more angled up you know what i mean like that's the kind of thing you need to these this is where it helps to know technique because then if you know to expect these things it's easier to see them uh, otherwise people don't see them um let me take i will make sure everybody here Travis, what's your um, email address? Travis.hartman at thompsonreuters.com. Travis.hartman. And that's my mother. At thompsonreuters.com. Okay. So I'll make sure you get this too. I just don't know if I had your own email. So I will email you guys all once we're done with this lesson a copy of this picture so you have it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I know I've sent it across the thread, but I think this is an easier one so that you can keep working on it. We can hear you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> In the streets of Oakland and Berkeley, I had a stroller's eye view of people getting into what the great John Lewis called good trouble. When I was five, my and my mother raised us mostly on her own. Like so many lives, Who is that? Around the clock to make it work. Kamala. Oh, that's Kamala? Wow. Nice. Get the kitchen table and shuttling us to church for choir practice. She made it look easy. My mother instilled in my sister Maya and me the heart in the course of our lives. She raised us to be proud, strong black women. And she raised us to know and be proud.
raised us to know and be proud of our Indian heritage. She taught us to put family first, the family you are born into and the family you choose. Family is my husband, Doug, who I met on a blind date set up by my best friend. Family is our beautiful children, Cole and Ella, who call me Mamala. Family is my sister. Family is my best friend, my nieces, and my godchildren. Family is my uncles, my aunts, and my chitties. Family is Mrs. Shelton, my second mother who lived two doors down and helped raise me. Family is my beloved Alpha Kappa Alpha, our Divine Nine, and my HBCU brothers and sisters. Family is the friends I turn to when my mother, the most important person in my life, passed away from cancer. Even as she taught us to keep our family at the center of our world, she also pushed us to see a world beyond ourselves. She taught us to be conscious and compassionate about the struggles of all people, to believe public service is a noble cause and the fight for justice is a shared responsibility. That led me to become a lawyer, a district attorney, attorney general, and a United States senator. And at every step of the way, I've been guided by the words I saw in the background. I stood yeah. in a courtroom. That's okay. Well, it's dark We're outside. outside. <laughs> For the people. I have fought for children and survivors of sexual assault. I fought against transnational criminal organizations. I took on the biggest banks and helped take down one of the biggest for-profit colleges. I know a predator when I see one. Mm -hmm. My mother taught me that service to others gives life purpose and meaning. No, oh, Travis, not bad at all. Yeah, I erased everything at least three times. And That's okay. Good. Yeah. But and I learned a lot, like, just looking at the face, I see the structure, like, it's actually very, very helpful. I think yeah. I'm going to keep drawing and... Keep you know, working on it. And keep working on it. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll be working on faces for another two or three weeks, uh, okay. or longer if people want to do it. Um, so I'll be continuing to walk you through. Guys, does any... Guys, you want a little bit more time before we end? I, I think I'm going to bug out, but thank All right. you again. All right, and Travis, there will be a uh, recording of this uh, yes. class put up on the YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it again or see some parts, you're welcome. Fantastic. Thank you very yeah. much. See you guys later. Nice see to see you. you. Take care. Completely. Mine has completely no likeness, but I'll get there eventually. We'll get there. See? Your we'll image and Wallow's image looks similar. Yeah, I think there's probably, that's true. We're getting there though, you're getting there. I think Diana, it's to do with the, okay, hang on. I get there. Yeah. When I work a little bit more. Coming along, Lisa. One another. Hey. Um, so Lisa, try to be, I think you should try uh, the next lesson in charcoal. Okay. Uh, because I think your shading with the pencil looks kind of mm. um, not very good. You know what I mean? Like kind of yeah. sloppy. Mm -hmm. And I think you do better with charcoal. So my recommendation okay. would be to move to charcoal where you can make kind of softer lines and edges. You know what I mean? It's okay. easier to do that. Okay. Um, good job though, guys. Anybody else want to send theirs in? Like I said, I this is it. not, we don't expect, I don't expect you to get this in the first time or even the third time. I just want you to practice and try. And you will see that this lesson, I change shit a lot. I mean, I think I finally have gotten somewhere that looks kind of, that looks more, but like, just notice, this is like a, 
it's a constantly uh, you're constantly checking and rechecking yourself, and that is okay in this game. Why don't you guys send me what you've got? You want me to look at it before we go? I can give you one. Yeah, Jillian, better. Better? You're getting there? I'm using watercolor pencils and I just want to like put water on it. It's Do boring. it. Do it. <laughs> so that you can make softer, so you yeah. can make softer edges. I think that's going to help you. As long as I have the, um, the proportions down. I don't think you exactly have the proportions down, but they're better. One, two, three. I mean, this is a nice one. <laughs> Nose looks good. Mouth looks better. Um, the nose is now, the, the cheek on this side, here I'm going to point so that you can see onto the actual figure. This cheek is much further carved in than you have it. If you notice, the space from here to here is only about half an eye length. It's very small. I had to carve it in two, which means you're going to carve in your eye a little bit on this side. Everything is going to carve in a little bit more. So you've got him way too wide on this side of his face. Uh, easy to do. I did it. Ha! Yeah. Lisa, uh, the um, face is way too wide. Lisa B, the face is way too wide on this uh, side. On way the, too on the wide. Side. Way uh, too wide. It's sort of basically, yeah, look. So basically, this is where the dividing line is exactly where my cursor is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would start over and reconstruct yeah. because that's, yeah, that guy, yeah. He, yes, he does not look like, yeah, there you go. He doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> that's okay, but that's, you know, that's how we learn, right? Yeah. Construct, construct. That's okay. Thank, oh, Ronald, thank you, better. Leo. Great. I'm I'm gonna go to. All right, Thank Leah. You guys. Leah, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna run, but I'll do charcoal next week. Okay, and I'm gonna send you guys this Grollo. That is a great recovery. Thank you. Hey. Great great you guys. I think the mouth was okay. I think it was the nose that was all wrong. Yeah, uh, the nose is definitely better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. So yes. Nose. It seemed to fall into place. So. It seemed to fall into place. I agree with you. Wonderful. Great work, you guys. All right. So I'm gonna email this to all of you. Uh, so you will have the source. Okay. And uh, this lesson will be available in a couple of hours uh, on the YouTube channel. So if you want to take a look, do it again. If you want to practice doing faces forward, my face again, <laughs> tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock our time on the East Coast, uh, 12 o'clock on the, uh, sorry, 9 o'clock on the West Coast, uh, 12 o'clock on the East Coast, uh, you are welcome to join in. So jump in or just catch this catch the uh, video afterwards. Great work, you guys. Really amazing. Great. Thank you. So Good. hard. All right. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.